Raptor utilized it like that, I was like, holy crap, like, it's yeah. really that serious. One of the, one example that comes to mind is Yoshi Rob. Like, he just, if he down, Rob cannot down throw him. Because he just double jump armies through it, actually. Oh, yeah, with, with the multi-hitting up here. Yeah, it's crazy. Rob might have to up smash instead. Of yeah, actually. like, you'll very rarely see a, a Rob kill with, after, off of a down throw. That's crazy. Right, right now, I noticed immediately, like, as soon as the game said go, Suarez did not waste any time. Yeah. Because he knew you if you give Village a yeah. lot of space, it's going to be a headache to deal with Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. And especially, one thing you got to utilize in this matchup, in my opinion, a lot, in any Villager matchup, you've got to make use of your invincibility off the Angel platform. That's when you can close <laughs> the gap without any problems. you got to stare at the Villager like, yeah. dang, you just how am I going to approach this man him. right here? <laughs> this young man that's throwing a bunch of kid toys at me. <laughs> Look at this. Slingshot. How do you approach that way, Yoshi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so That's what I'm saying. Like, Nair is such a good button once he connects it and he makes work of it. But it's like the neutral is going to be the hardest part in this matchup. Like, yeah you, yeah, you can't forever throw eggs at me. I can just pocket it. I got tree as a wall to kind of block your view and, and gyro, uh, uh, Lloyd. And then the slingshots. Yeah. Like, I feel like Yoshi has to be one of those characters in this matchup. Yeah, he has to get in, like... He's not giving um, Pokemon any type of time to, like, set up anything next to the legendary. Oh, nice spot dodge from him and actually punishing it. So, one thing so I got to give Suarez a compliment to it is his use of neutral beat. It's a great move. It's used yeah. by every Yoshi, but no Yoshi but uses he it. he uses it like crazy. Does. Even like, when I play him from time to time. Yeah. He uses neutral beat so well, and we're definitely going to see it a lot in this set. Because... You know, it's, he's going to be prompted to shield a lot, Elon. Especially, you know, when he tries to get in, he's going to pull the shield. And he's going to get that right. neutral beat. And despite, and despite Suarez having, like, an interesting, aggressive start, Oakland sh just somehow knows how to tie her back up. Yeah. But still, this this first stock, I think, Ooh. is going to determine a lot. Because now Elon can camp him. And really camp him. But he's Not if never you're mind. doing he's stuff like that. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought about the end of the You see, he fell down. <laughs> he's got right in his face. There's nothing he could do. That's actually smart. He's like, ah, right, you know. I hear you, see. Let me fall right when he wants to go <laughs> off the stage. <laughs> yeah. Taking full advantage of that invincibility like a big brain guy he is. Oh, this is where the punishes start kicking in. Already 40%. Oh, look at that shield pressure. He hit him with right. Lloyd Egg. He had no option besides just hold shield. And of course, he's going to get grabbed. I will forever think Villager is one of those characters that he's just always slept on, in my opinion. Oh, I, I love Villager agree. as a character when I'm using him. It's like He's like one of my doubles characters. Yeah, I don't think he's a bad character at all. I think mainly he's just, he would be a lot better if he was <laughs> fun to play for one. <laughs> An underrepresented character for sure. And you can see that just with how much Ilama's done, being like the only Villager rep. Oh, like there's maybe like three Ooh. good Villagers that I can name. Yeah. I like, I, that was actually really smart from Suarez. He anticipated that Pokemon was going to pocket the egg, but he was already drifting with the egg, calling it out. Mm. That, that way he gave himself enough time to actually land a punish and called out that he was just going to drift away from the stage and hit him with a Nair, mm. successfully punishing that right there. Yeah. Oh, there's the Nair that yep. you was mentioning <laughs> earlier. Exactly. But I feel like that, that was like the, the some reason. I don't know if uh, Slingshot has a weak hitbox or something. Typically, if you're getting walled out, you're typically just getting hit by the weak hitbox as well, though, you know? Mm. But um, Suarez kind of running away with this game now, you know? He, that Elon really gave it to him. He can't really keep his wall up now. He's got to make something happen here. And now Suarez is in the middle of controlling the pace of the game. But now yeah. Pokemon has something to say. I think it's a ledge trap right here. Oh, oh. Ooh, nice jump away. Now it's going to tech. Oh, oh that's gonna be stop. nice right. patience right there. Calling out some type of button that Suarez is going to press right there. Yeah. So by no means undoable. Villager racks up at percent insanely fast. And there's a lot of things people don't know about Villager because he's not played. Yeah. So, like, if I'm Suarez right now, you just got to keep playing careful. Just keep doing what you've been doing. Play the game calm. Oh, you know? don't, don't get too nervous because that's where Villager is going to thrive. Yeah. Because Villager is one of those characters that if... You're like a slightly tilted that like, oh. damn, I want to come and approach him already. It's yeah. Just villagers just got that advantage at that point. Exactly. It's the same thing with the Paul Pika we saw. Yeah. That once they get in, they just they just get like, they have to click buttons, you know? And that, that's how villagers and, and Pikachus could not stand disadvantage. Oh, beautiful. That was oh, nice. But, but amazing DI from Paul Claim right there. Yeah. Dude, Suarez landing, or uh, just Yoshi oh. landing back here. Oh, oh my wow. God. Oh. Yo, if that this is scary. that would have been crazy. That was a crazy setup right there, and that's what makes him so dangerous. Is like he's so good 
on his tree usage that he didn't fully plant the tree. Yeah. And he started planting it as soon as he had a devastating punish right there. Yeah, very nice. So wow, this game evened up fairly quickly. It's you know? definitely still Suarez's favor. One backer is gonna take it from more or less anywhere on the stage. And right. That's what he was looking for a bit earlier. Now he's got a he's kind of there's the back there coming out. That also what makes Suarez so different from the other oh, Yoshis oh, too. Oh wow! He kind of interrupted from the Lloyd. The Lloyd actually caught blocking that setup right there. Nice wow, narrow shield this is right scary. there. This is now scary. this is anybody's game. High percent last stock. You know why he's going for a lot of backers? Because Yoshi's typically kill up tilt up air, a raw oh. up air, and he's gonna get it. <laughs> oh, oh wow, he, he almost barely di would out of that setup I right there. I didn't see. He might have air dodged, and that's my what have been. That might have what have killed him there. Either that, oh, that was just like just enough exact, percent like to get him out the game. Like I yeah. feel like every time someone just dies like that with the right di, you was just supposed to die. Yeah, that's it. Like you know, the game was just telling you we gotta move on. Another game right there, but you got good DI though. Yeah, yeah. But you started slow. <laughs> like that's how I think about it every single time. Like I di would it right, but I still died. Yeah, and that back air—that's probably why he was using it so much. He knows that it's gonna hit through the—it's gonna hit through the the projectiles a lot. It's yeah, that's like the Suarez special. And at least from what I know, three of them, you know, and that's, <laughs> it's pretty good. So game two. Yeah, taking Let's a deep breath right there. Suarez knows that was definitely not an easy game, and it almost lasted the entire game yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Running it back, I think? I believe so, yeah. 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 So we'll see what adjustments Elon makes. But really, that not that many adjustments need to be made. That was a anyone's it game. It was anyone's that was game That was whoever right got there. the next hit one. But he's going to... Oh, okay. I thought Upgrade was going that yeah. time. Oh, that jab is going to be good now. Jeez. That jab is crazy. <laughs> the eye away, is man. <laughs> Please. <laughs> But that jab is, I feel like it, it might not kill like that, but it's definitely one of the best ones in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, oh, definitely. Because you can also get some stuff like, you can get some cheeky stuff, like when you get the tree behind them, that's an infinite jab. Yeah. At least he doesn't have to worry about like, oh, some Isabel stuff, like, ah, oh, infinite jab. He yeah, doesn't yeah. got nothing like that because he was just a little toy of the multi one anyway. Isabel's jab is crazy, though. For some odd reason, it's just worse. It's insane. <laughs> oh, but, um, okay, so. You know, you can see it's once Suarez is doing a good job of holding this advantage. He's not too antsy by any means. Because once he gets in, he's take, giving a consistent he get that sixty percent was all from yeah. one advantage. He's stage. playing more careful than when he was in game one. Because yeah. he notices that as soon as he makes one little mistake, he's taking like a 50-60% combo right there and now he's in a death advantage. Right yep. there. Oh, back throw's gonna do it. Not yet. Got the wood chip. <laughs> Happy Easter coming out from Suarez right there. <laughs> And you know, as as good as a move Pocket is, pocketing the eggs in this matchup really is like, it's an egg, you know? Like, yeah. You can't do that much out of it. The angle that comes out of it is kind of funky. It's not going to stop Yoshi from doing his yeah. Yoshi's own game plan and stuff like that. Exactly. But Villager, but Suarez knows that Villager can still get some type of punish with an egg itself. Because mm -hmm. it just makes Villager's zoning tool so much better. Yep. Like now it's like you have to worry about oh, oh what did he just made the Lloyd explode? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I had a feeling right there. Perfectly timed from from um from Elam right there. Yeah, yeah. And perfectly spaced. Oh well. my god. Wow. How'd he go? <laughs> Approach me dangerously again and you're gonna die. Forty four percent immediately oh my god. coming from the angel plat right there. And now, and he's now running away with this. This means so much <laughs> to a character like for, for like Villager, because now he can play his he's forcing Suarez to play his game now. Yep. And look, it, he is just running away. Oh, my, oh my god. god. Oh, the jab setup right after that the bowling ball? He's going to down air through any up air or anything he might want to go for. I guess wow. Suarez also noticed he can't just like do his down B setups either because po Pokemon's always ready to throw some type of brolic turn up right there. Suarez is just mainly just worrying about trying to land on the stage and recuperate what he's going to do for his approaches. For sure. Jeez, my man got him shook yeah. right now. He's like, yo, so, what do I do? A little bit of a stand still here. <laughs> because, you know, it's not, it's very tough for Suarez in this situation because you could see he took that 93% when he was just running in. Because yeah. he, he eventually is going to have to take that stock, and Elam is not going to give it to him like that. So now he's like, here, I need to back off, Ooh. sort of like recollect myself. Right. But honestly, it's still, it's not looking so great. He's got it. If he goes down three stocks to one, I'm, gonna, I'm almost ready yeah. to call it game right there. Yeah, you know? Elam definitely, if he, if Suarez loses this stock counting right here, Elam definitely got this in the bag. Yeah. So it's definitely like a 99% chance right there. Yeah. It's also just where player frustration comes in, you know? No, Suarez mental, one of the best I've ever seen, you know? It's, it's and crazy. If you, can, if you can get Suarez feeling like that, yeah. dude, that's already <laughs> a big win right there. Absolutely. Try to cheese him with the down smash, but somehow, oh my god, nice setup right there with the near. 
Yeah, I did. Yeah, Suarez is probably thinking about, about the next game. Like, all right, yeah. Let me let me see what I can. I feel like every top, well, every high level player is gonna realize that scenarios like this, might as well just. Yeah, you just, like kind of like give up, but kind of like you use be the aware. rest of the game. If you think you're gonna lose, you use the rest of the game to like just like analyze what they're doing and yeah. what you've been doing wrong. Right? Uh, like I, right, if I if I do this wow. move, right, oh, that's, that's an amazing, amazing anti air yeah. right there. That move used to suck. It used to not connect at all until it got buffed. Oh, wow. Geez. Also, Suarez that, being lucky right there, not taking another devastating 50%. Yeah, that up that up smash. He definitely could have gotten more. He could have gone up there for it, but that's an insane up smash. It's a good out of shield option. I think it's like 10 12. Um, it's wow, it killed Yoshi so early. Smash? No, villager up smash. It's, oh, wow. it's, it's insane. But finally gonna get that first stock off. But it might be a little, too little too late here. Uh, we got two minutes and 45 seconds left on the oh, clock. Oh wow, man, I didn't even realize pull it that. Off. That's what I'm saying. They're playing these these two defensive players, we're gonna have a long set right here. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna get back on stage even after Ooh. he jumped his hot. So he's gonna go for it like a madman. So I I don't think this game's gonna go to time realistically. I, Elon could definitely make it go to time yeah. if, if he wanted to. But he but knows he wants to at least get a game off him and then probably do something else from yeah. there. And also, right now, he's just he's winning by not making it forcing time. You yeah. know? He doesn't need to make he's it. Go to he's time making to very little interactions whenever Suarez is approaching him. And that, the right there, the second time he conditioned Suarez into approaching with a really strong nair. And then, now nah, I got Lloyd to cover the hitbox, and then up smash is right on top of that. Yeah. That was really smart for him because I feel like if he just did. No Lloyd at all. Suarez actually would have went through and got some type of conversion off of it with a tech chase. But because Lloyd being in the way, Yoshi's Nair hit that Lloyd first before yep. the rest of the hitbox started coming out. And Pokemon being ready with that with that anti-air up smash right there going that, into game three. That is a phenomenal point that Elam has just been making such good use of the Lloyd to stop him from like, even if he gets hit, he can't get followed because he runs into the Lloyd. Right. And, and, and there's only so much you can do with Yoshi at that point. Yeah. You have a really good drift, but it's like, you know, you don't have that many other approach options against yep. someone that has a very good zoning tool. And immediately going to Battlefield, is like, all right, you know what? Nah, I need to close the gap a little bit more. Use yeah. the platforms as a movement option, probably. So we'll see. But you yeah. know, game one, very, very close game. But that was super Elon favorite. So uh, I don't think this is going to be going to be quite the blowout as it was last game. I think Suarez is going to make a lot of adaptations here. Yeah. I feel like this potentially might backfire him, though. Because so? if Suarez doesn't get Yoshi's up here tri combos, then um, Elam is just going to live a very long time. Yeah. The battlefield is pretty big. And you know, now that you mentioned it, he really hasn't been getting those up air combos. Yeah. He's not been in many up airs. That's, that makes sense, you know? That's what I was thinking about right now. I was Because like, when Suarez picked Battlefield, I'm thinking in my head, like, what can he possibly do about, okay, maybe some good up air strings and everything like yeah. that. And some IDJ setups. But Elam just keeps the eyeing to the side of the stage where it makes Yoshi harder for it to combo. Yeah. But at the same time, having these three platforms also just adds like an extra dimension sort of for him to, to navigate around these, yeah. these uh, pellets. Having like a different way how to approach, because in P2, it was it was too horizontal. Yeah. Where it's like, you know, you only had small plats at the side, but now you got Battlefield with three medium-sized type of platforms where it's like, all right, I don't have to just brainlessly run straight. I don't have to jump and yep. still go straight. Like, now that I think about it, Suarez was playing kind of linear-ish yeah. on his approaches, but now that but we have Battlefield. it's not even his fault, you know? It's like, there's not much you can do yeah. in that PS2 platform arrangement. No, yeah, that's what I'm, for sure. Like, there, there wasn't that much that Yoshi hit itself could have done. Yeah. But that's why Battlefield, you know, is a little interesting yeah. pick. I like the, I think I like the pick, but also, I'm pretty sure there's a decent stage for Villager as well. Yeah. You can't put up a platform. I would love, yeah, if I, like, when I play, I, I love Battlefield as Villager. Mm -hmm. You can still do some, some cheeky setups on the ledge, oh. but also you can cover the platform really easily with slingshots mm -hmm. to, like, kind of poke your opponent around and everything. And Lloyd covers the entire ground of Battlefield to the point where you're either forced to shield it or forced to jump or if you have a disjoint you can attack the Lloyd and trade with it. What's up? Um sorry what? Alright and Suarez having that that first stock lead but can he make it count against Elam right here? Okay so wow so he got the first stock that's huge. I think right. what we've been seeing especially in that second game, never mind the same <laughs> exact mistake he did the last game, he is kind of calling those approaching, out. Approaching Elon way too much on the top yeah. and had that up smash ready at the right time. That up smash, you know? And I was just talking about how good that up smash really is. He might even, Elon might even start mixing up up tilts at this point. Yeah. Ooh, Maybe some early percent starters because Villager can get a lot off of up tilt also. 
Oh, this is what Forrest wants. Keep him in, in the oh, air, but never mind. Up the timing to not get by the Lord. Oh, we just yep, I, I do it again. <laughs> don't don't wow. don't come on top of me. Yeah, that would have gotten me as well. I did not know there was nothing. Yeah, wow, I'm just really a villager small, up smash yeah. enthusiast. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of similar to like like Snake's up smash. If you're if him or Snake up smashes under your shield, right. they're basically they're safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to respect that. You have to go to the side. Buffer some type of option and just retreat. Right, and like, and repeat if, it, if it just straight up misses, they're gonna be in so much ally. It's a long animation. Yeah. But if you're hit by it, there's not much you can do. You know? For some odd reason, I don't know why some specific characters have that. It's like, if I do this move raw, then it's kind of unsafe ish. Yeah. But if I hit your shield with it, I'm pretty safe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Kind of like, um, I think, like, Rob's down to is like one example. It's like, Rob's, a lot of Rob's can, like, start spamming down to it on your shield, and you yeah. can't really do nothing. But it's kind of negative on hit at 0%. Yep. Nice conversion from Swarm. Is right there. First time actually getting it in his set. Wow, so he, he's got a, a, quite the lead actually. And he needed this too. Yeah. Oh, when he's getting hit the down air. Oh, but he, he falls that out. That's was his own down air for Off first throw. time. I, I, that's my first time ever seeing Yoshi off the road. That's how, that's how you know Suarez is a little desperate on trying to do some um, some ladder combos with these up airs. Yeah. Uh, Elam's not having it. But even when I've seen Yoshi go for ladder combos off the throws, they, they typically opt for down throw. It, it sends him at a, a little bit more of a frame trap angle. And if they die in it, that's what I'm saying. It just it looked a little funny to me because I've just never seen the yeah. animation of Yoshi's up throw. Have you ever seen Yoshi throws kill? It's a, it is a sight to see. <laughs> yeah, maybe at like 225 yeah, or bad no, the eyes. Yeah, throw kills around there. <laughs> <laughs> I I can confidently say I've died from Yoshi throws at least 10 times. Bro, that's actually painful. Because I think Yoshi's biggest flaw as a character is his kill, like his. He doesn't struggle like his kill power is fine, yeah. but he struggles to get those hits. You know, it's very you know, the way Yoshi kills is very raw. You know, he yeah. doesn't like have many setups. That's kind of how I, f I feel like like when I'm playing against Pac-Man, Yoshi. Oh. And oh, okay. Guess the edge guard. It, it's oh, oh my tree. god! What a setup right there from Milan Suarez. Not that. Not getting caught somehow. Up, oh, nice, perfectly armored oh, throw. Oh, this is scary here, Alam. He's gonna send him. Oh, he's gonna down throw. I'm gonna check yeah. the di in. That was, that was that throw was one of those. I'm gonna check what you're gonna do about it. Is he dead? No, I nice di so, yeah. from from Elam. I think if he opted for an F smash, which I think he still could have gotten realistically. Yeah. But it, oh, but F smash was a fast enough it. and nice yep. back here right there. Yep. Suarez right. taking a major deep breath right there for that set. Very well played from both players, and Suarez is gonna come out with, on top for this one.